Today I'm doing a rear tire replacement and I found out my brakes were worn out in the rear so I'm going to swap those out as well on the Yamaha Raider. But what I did find out was something incredibly interesting. The If people have heard about this, that the gear on the coming off the crank, actually the bolt slips. Uh, it happens on the Yamaha Bolt where the, uh, I guess the locking mechanism doesn't hold. Like you have to knock it down to fit the the notch in the bolt and it moved. So very stunned to see something like that occur and disappointed because that's dangerous. And of course it's gonna add ton of repair costs to your Yamaha Raider and your bolt. A friend of mine had to get his whole motor replaced because he ground down the shaft to nothing and the, the gear just spun. That was it, he's done. So you notice that that notch right there it's supposed to be, look at where mine is, where the keying and where they notch the bolt, it slipped. So I'm gonna have to make sure I tighten this down. And if you can see, I just pulled the cover off without, without even taking the regulator off. It's basically those holes on top, there, there, and around. You know, it's an Allen tool. I just used the Allen tool. It's worth the check. Pop the side cover off. Check that bolt, make sure that the, the locking mechanisms on the bolt is not slipped. Okay, so, and while you're at it too, check your, your sprocket there to make sure there's no garbage in there. And then you can check your belt. Make sure there's no cracks or any rocks stuck in that. And this belt from Yamaha is $450. Now I've contacted Gates and asked them, I haven't gotten a response back. I know people on the forums have, we're trying to find an alternative cost for that. I don't know if anybody has yet, but if you have, let us know in the comments below. And that's it. Okay, good luck.